you're very welcome back. Now, at the age of 15, our next guest set up his own YouTube channel. It led him to working with uh, then unknown James Bay and American superstars uh, Macklemore and uh, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, he's 20 now, Vada, would you believe oh, it? He's God, made he's a documentary ancient. about Conor McGregor. He's taken photos of the likes of Hosea. Yeah, great he has photos. giant up with the Environmental Protection Agency for a schools competition, the story of your stuff. Kristen Tierney, great to have you're you on welcome. the show, Thanks sir. Um, can we go back to the beginning yeah. and uh, your YouTube channel? When yeah. did that start? So I made my first music video when I was 14 and then when I was 15 I decided to start a YouTube channel and I'd film, try and film the artists who were coming to Dublin on tour and then yeah. film some of the up and coming Irish artists. How did you get well. access to these people you were, when you were only 15? I just used to not tell anyone my age. I went on the MCD listings and found who was coming to Ireland and I'd find the, an email for their manager online and then send out hundreds of emails to all the managers and hope that one of them got back and then and it kind of snowballed. So yeah. then you got the pass inadvertently really and off you went. Yeah, you exactly. just go in. Just, yeah. Yeah. We have to just take a look at some of the photographs mm -hmm. you took. Uh, this is actually different now here. This is, uh, tell us, actually. You yeah, this is a live session it. we did with James Bay. This is the yeah. second one I did in the Olympia Theatre. So the first video I did with him was the first ever recording of his song, Let It Go, which then went on to be a platinum selling hit, yeah. and he played it at the Grammys. So yeah. uh, I've stayed in touch with him since, so that it's been great. He's great to work with. Uh, yeah. Where was that shot? That, that was in the Olympia. That was in the Olympia. Yeah. Yeah. Was he yeah. rehearsing there? That was uh, during soundcheck, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. You, but what I really like is the, the closeness of... If, you know, you actually really feel... Try to make it feel as intimate as possible, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's good for you to be associated with people like this, but also yeah. when he looks at this, he must be saying, hang on, this guy's talented and it's good for him yeah. as well. Yeah, sure, like, because the first time when we did the first video, uh, I, I was 17 at the time, like, he had just got signed, so nobody really knew who he was yet either. Yeah. So when we did that first, it was kind of like a mutually beneficial thing, and it was great that when he came back, he was a big star at this stage, brought me back. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's a great this. picture. That's so you were obviously right behind the drum kit. Yeah, there, it's right? great, because I had trust with him then at the, at the point, uh, so he, he trusted me to be on stage and get that close to get those shots. That was a lecture picnic last year. Yeah. Um, an amazing shot. That was actually on his birthday as well, so right. he was in a great mood that day, and... Really, really brilliant day all it's around. It's one of my favourite like shots. It's, it's like you're inside in the photo or something. Yeah, yeah. That, was the same, that was the same day as the video. Yeah. This was when after the sound check. And that was during yeah. the show, yeah. But their lighting and everything is beautiful in it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm. Such a beautiful so, venue. You obviously, photography is a big thing for you as well. Photography as well, yeah, yeah. I do both. Yeah. Which do you think you're, is your best, you're best at? Uh, I don't know. I, I enjoy both of them in different ways. Um, I think photography is more enjoyable for me because um, it's just kind of quicker or something. Mm -hmm. But then having like a finished final video yeah. is really yeah. satisfying as but well. But you've managed to get movement into some of your photographs. This is what I've noticed, which is yeah. not the easiest thing mm -hmm. to capture. Yeah, I, I, I love, I, I'm a big music lover myself, so I love really energetic shows. So that's, I try and kind of portray the energy mm. of the show because through the, like shot. the, the, the light, Even though the lighting may seem that it's set up for your pictures, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not at at all. Because I, I think... Uh, artists would spend thousands of yeah. euro or dollars yeah. or pounds or whatever yeah. to get shots like this, but you're doing it yeah. uh, without any uh, without any of the big budget money behind you. Yeah, no, I'm just trying my best. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Gavin James. That was at C Sessions last year. Um, or yeah, it was, it was. And uh, they shot off the confetti cannons, and I kind of was trying to guess where the confetti was going to fall, so I could get them <laughs> in between at all. And uh, luckily, I, that piece of confetti just that's missed like, the space. That looks like so. an album yeah. cover. Seriously. You know, it's just on. unreal. Tell us about your latest project then with the EPA. Yeah, so we're doing a, I'm the ambassador for the, the Story of Your Stuff competition, which is a video, a, a video competition to try and get young people to think more about where their stuff comes from and where it goes after mm -hmm. they're finished with it. So and it's, also the, it's the whole journey, basically. There's a bottle. Yeah. Where is the bottle? Where was it made? Yeah. What use did I have for the bottle? And where is it going to go next? Yeah, so we're, we're inviting students to make videos about uh, where their stuff came from, tell its story through uh, videos from 60 to 90 seconds long. And, um, yeah, that's, that's the idea. And there's great prizes. And, uh, yeah, so... And is it to do with the fact that you want young people to appreciate, you know, where something has come from and where it goes, the life of something instead of having a throwaway culture? Is that, is that the bottom line of it? Yeah, that's basically the essence of it, yeah, okay. to try and get... Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know you have tips on, uh, on the site as well, on the EPA site, of how yeah. to actually create these videos. Because yeah. we should say, you were not... You didn't go to college to learn any of this no. stuff. He spent hours to watching YouTube tutorials, didn't you? Yeah, YouTube tutorials, just hundreds of hours. Even before I even got my first yeah. camera, I watched so many tutorials before that by the time I got it, I knew exactly how to use it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. But I suppose everybody has a camera in their phone now. Mm. And exactly. Go it's, a good quality yeah. camera as well. And this it's, is what you're talking about here yeah. in these tips, isn't it? Yeah, it's never been easier for, for people to make videos. Everyone has a HD camera in their pocket. You can edit on your phone. You can do everything for free, no budget. You don't need big, expensive mm -hmm. cameras. So that's what I talk about in the video. And yeah. that's all on um, the storyofyourstuff.ie. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for... And 
and for children going to school, I suppose as well, something we didn't have is fourth year transition year, yeah. where the year can be kind of can kind of I suppose come around you in a way in some sense yeah. that you don't have to stick to the subjects and you can do what you want. Absolutely, yeah. You can dip into a lot yeah. of areas and you can get into companies and all that type of thing just to, to see what it's actually really like apart from reading in a book yeah. about yeah. something. Yeah. Were you very academic in school? I was quite academic in school, but I, I didn't really like school at all because like, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. So, so by the time I was in the end of third year transition year, I knew that I wanted to make videos and take photographs. So. Yeah. Would you see yourself going forward as a cinematographer or do you want to stay in this you know, commercial music end? Or wh where do you see your life going? Because you are only 20. Yeah, I'd like to explore lots of different things even outside of this, but uh, I'd love to make uh, movies down the line. I have an idea for a documentary I want to make as well. And, uh, so I, I'm open to everything, but I love mate, doing the music stuff as well. Just yes. going back to the competition, closing yeah. date? 30th of March. 30th of March. Yeah. So, and it's open to any idea you want at all? Any idea you want. Uh, video, 60 to 90 seconds long. Um, all the info is on the website, storyourstuff.ie. Go on Story and check it out. Yeah. Yeah, great. Very good. You don't need any fancy equipment, as Christian no. said Phones. there. Phone and off you go. Christian, yeah. thanks so much. Thank and the best much. of luck in the, the future. The best of luck. Make sure we we'll talk to you again. Thank you. Now, final reminder uh, for you guys at home of our competition today. You can win.